In this video, I'll talk with you about how to stop a wage garnishment fast. Hi, I'm Scott Allen, an attorney in Alabama, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Well, in Alabama, a wage garnishment can take up to 25% of your paycheck. And so when money's tight anyway, and we're struggling to pay the bills or struggling to pay the car payment or the mortgage or the rent, having a 25% reduction in your pay is a crisis mode. And so knowing that there's options out there to stop a wage garnishment fast is important. And today we're going to talk about bankruptcy and I'm going to kind of go a step further and peel back kind of behind the scenes curtain of what we're doing in the office to help ensure that that wage garnishment is stopped on a quick basis. Most of you know, filing of a bankruptcy case, either chapter seven or chapter 13 creates what's called the automatic stay and the automatic stay prevents creditors from foreclosing, repossessing, stops wage garnishments, stops creditors from calling. So in this situation about the wage garnishment, we take another step forward. So after the bankruptcy case is filed, we get the notice of bankruptcy filing. And so that notice we in the past have tried just sending that notice to the person's employer. But the problem is, is that the employer would sometimes respond to us and say, you know, I'm under a state court order to garnish the wages. I've got to comply with that. I understand you've got a bankruptcy notice, but what does that really mean? Which order do I go by? And so to prevent that, what we started doing is taking another step. And that another step is, is we file a suggestion of bankruptcy with the state court and we attach that notice of bankruptcy filing with the suggestion of bankruptcy. So after we file that suggestion of bankruptcy, we follow that up again with another motion. We file a motion to quash the garnishment. This has been very effective at getting the garnishment stopped quickly. Then either we get a, the state court judge usually enters the order very quickly that the garnishment is quashed or the creditor's attorney who has issued the garnishment will step in and file a release of garnishment. Once we get those documents, we're able to then forward the order quashing the garnishment or the garnishment release to the employer of the individual who filed bankruptcy. And this becomes a very effective way for us getting the garnishment released quick. If you're in Alabama, you're facing a wage garnishment and you're trying to sort through some of your issues on how to deal with it, you know, I encourage you to Click on the link below, give us a call, shoot me an email, be glad to help you if I can. Until next time.